Well, let's uh, look to the heavens now for a few minutes. The bright midsummer full moon is slowly disappearing into darkness around much of the world as the longest lunar eclipse in a decade gets underway. And RT's Tom Barton is watching the skies for us uh, there in Moscow. Tom, tell us, can, uh, can you see much where you are at the moment? At the moment, if I look up into the Moscow sky, there's been a few clouds. The, the vision of the moon hasn't been so great. But if you can see the moon, and we've seen it in and out of the clouds, it's glowing a, a bright red colour. And if you do look up at the moment and see that, don't be alarmed. What you're seeing is a lunar eclipse, and it's the first full lunar eclipse that there's been since the year 2000. So what is actually happening? Why is the moon glowing red? Well, usually uh, the moon at night that you'd see glowing white is a reflection of the sun's rays back to Earth. But tonight, right now in fact, the Earth has come between the sun and the moon, blocking out most of the sun's rays getting to the moon. The rays that you can see getting to the moon are the red rays. Most of the blue ones have been taken out by the Earth's atmosphere, giving it that, that red colour. And at the moment, for the next hour and a half, as the sun's shadow covers, as the Earth's shadow covers the moon, all around the Earth, throughout uh, South America, Australia, uh, up, up into Asia and Europe and Africa, people will be able to see this eclipse. The one place that people won't be able to see it, unfortunately, is North America, because it's daytime there at the moment. But for the next hour and a half, if you have the chance to grab some binoculars or a telescope, you'll be able to see a lot more detail on the Earth's, on the Moon's surface, a lot of the big craters and seas that are that are on the Moon's surface, a lot more than you'd usually be able to see. You'll also be able to see a site at the end of this hour and a half that Aristotle saw back in the fourth century BC, as the Sun's, as the Earth's curved shadow moves off the Moon. He saw all that time ago and and gave some of the first proof that perhaps Earth is in fact a sphere and not flat. Unfortunately for you, Bill, stuck in the studio, you're going to have to wait quite a while. The next solar eclipse is going to be in 2018, so unfortunately you'll have to wait for that. Yes, but I'm not going to stay in the studio until that time, Tom. I'm going to get, get a chance to have a quick look out the window, I hope, in about 20 minutes from now and see if we can have a look at, it, uh, at the developments of the eclipse then. But in the meantime, thanks very much for that update live in Moscow. Tom Barton there.